Happy Monday from, unusually for a video for me, a bean field. Oh, it's so exciting. I can't contain it. I can't contain it. I found my first ever five bean pod. This is, this is insane. And they're on beans that uh, we sold. <laughs> they were planted later than I wanted. The five bean pod is up towards the top. There's your the top of the plant here. Oh my gosh, this is just so awesome. I've been seeing loads of four beans. I want to take it home, but I also want to leave it, <laughs> which it ain't going to do anything now that I broke it open. But these are a 2-3 bean, 2-3 maturity. Um, I was just walking slow, kind of making my way up towards the, the hilltop where we're, we're uh, planning last irrigation and just kind of paused here to look. I was <laughs> actually walking slow to take some pictures just in general. The, the colors, I love it when the, the beans start turning this color. And uh, I happened to look down and I'm like, no way and felt and took some pictures and then opened it up and oh my gosh this is exciting guys i have for years years and years wanted to find a five bean pod and never found one. Oh, um i might end up just taking it and is this one two nope that's a four now i'm paranoid every four that i see i'm having to go and uh <laughs> check them out and make sure but loving how these beans are coming along this is a little bit lower ground we've definitely still got some some pretty green plants but on the whole this whole field is turning uh, colors which is which is great and you know it's time everything else is starting to especially short season is really trucking along but this is a this was two years of corn a few i'm trying to think i think in 20 2020 was the last year that this particular field was an alfalfa field and it was it was only alfalfa for maybe seven or eight years i don't recall i'd have to go back and and do some some back math but um you know there was just tons of trash we battled trash out here on this field last year going corn on corn and you know if uh, you've been following along. You know how much I really like paying attention to our soil health and soil biology activity. And these bean fields this year, we're just blowing through the trash like crazy. You, The last bean field that I was on about an hour ago, um, you, you wouldn't know that it was a cornfield from last year. Especially a cornfield that we actually, <laughs> sadly, unfortunately, had to double plant it. And... Um, that's a really long story and a little bit of a of a cluster but that's neither here nor there um, move dash get but we're just this was tremendous trash last year being corn on corn our 2021 to 2022 uh winter season basically was we really didn't have a winter it was cold but we had no snow and we really rely on that snow to help pack down trash basically all the corn stalks and leaves and and everything else and we did not have that coming into 22 and then of course just like everybody else we were super super dry and um, relied heavily on our pivots to get stuff done and keep things alive last year and we just it was we really had a lot of excess trash coming into Coming into fall of 22, and luckily, on the unfortunate but fortunate side, we had tons of snow this last winter, and that really just helped pack that trash down. And then our soybeans, soybeans use a ton of carbon because of their requ nitrogen requirements, and um, which carbon is the... Uh, food source for our biology and that's why we're seeing hardly any leftover corn stalks from last year a little bit here but this is a really sandy spot so I'm not surprised but I'm loving seeing all of the uh, worm castings out here and um, just just phenomenal all of that worm activity really excited how these beans also 
brought their nodes up and we don't have very many pods down low which is great for harvest we don't want pods low um, especially you know on this field here where we've got some elevation change and fluctuation um, we had a trial of a product out here that ran through the retailer's spray machine or um, sprayer the applicator and but i don't know where that's at specifically i have to get that information from the retailer yet um it'll be really cool <laughs> i'm hoping fingers crossed that with where i found that five beam pod um which if there's one does that mean there's 10 i don't know they all in theory you'd really like to think so but uh who the heck knows none of us can ever sit down and and look at every plant every pod and see what we have i would love to know how many five bean pods i've walked past the last 17 years of doing agronomy work but um finally patience and screwing around with my phone to take pictures paid off <laughs> but anyway it would be really cool if the product that we tried out here on oh uh, i think 30 ish acres i don't think it was 40 something like that um but once i get that and we get get harvest rolling um and share those results with people it'll be it'll be pretty cool we've not seen anything in the vegetation the coloring or even the aerial imagery all year but um how it would be really cool <laughs> if i happened to be in the spot where that five bean pod showed up but wanted to share a little bit about beans and what i'm seeing here the middle of september almost the third week of september um, basically the third week, I guess, uh, because I've kind of focused a lot on corn this year and uh, the five bean pod just had to be shared with people and wanted to, um, if you, if you yourself are an agronomist or a farmer that are, is watching this and you've always wanted to five, fair, ugh, can't talk, share or find a five bean pod, I will share with you what I found today. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and week, and we will catch you soon.